When a child is not developing as expected, the medical team investigate to find out what's going on. Some of the tests they perform look at a child's genetic material. So what does this involve? Each human body is made of millions of cells. Each cell contains 23 pairs of chromosomes. Half we inherit from our mum and half we inherit from our dad. Chromosomes are stick-like structures with genes scattered along their length. This whole structure is made of DNA. Our genes control all aspects of how we develop, including organs such as our brain. One important genetic test when investigating a child is a chromosome microarray test. This test examines the chromosomes to find out if there are pieces missing or gained. Any piece of a chromosome that is missing or gained is called a copy number variant, known as a CNV. We all have CNVs, most of which are harmless. They are part of the natural process of evolution. However, if the CNV removes or adds an important gene, it can cause problems. Genetic test results are not always black and white. What are the rules of thumb when making sense of the test? Our interpretation of the results depends on which part of the chromosome is involved and the size of the chunk that's deleted or doubled up. If a CNV is small and doesn't contain an important gene, it may be harmless. When a CNV is inherited from a healthy parent, then it is likely to be harmless. But when a CNV has started new in a child, then it may be harmful. CNVs where a large chunk of genetic material is lost, tend to be more harmful than CNVs where there is a gain in genetic material. Each case has to be assessed individually. So each genetic test result showing a CNV requires careful consideration. When we're trying to determine the cause of a child's problem, sometimes the CNV explains the diagnosis, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it's a maybe. We are constantly learning more and looking out for patterns in children with similar CNVs and conditions. The database that maps variations in genes to symptoms and diseases is a work in progress. Our knowledge is expanding, but not complete.